Listener Production. Good morning, sports fans, and welcome to your Monday edition of The Scorecard. I'm Liam Flanagan, and this is your Fast Fun Hit of Sport for the 26th of April. Today, we've got crisis meetings about coaching futures, a sickening leg break in the UFC, and what happens when an MC forgets the one thing they needed to remember. But first... Yesterday's traditional Anzac Day blockbuster between the Essendon Bombers and Collingwood Magpies was truly a world beater. Numbers everywhere here for the Bombers. It comes to Snelling. Some icing on a really, really good cake. And the red and the black get the job done today. The Bombers' win in front of a crowd of 78,113 at the MCG was the biggest attendance at a global sporting event since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the portion of Collingwood fans in attendance would have been left disappointed by the performance of their team, particularly the kicking skills. A display so bad that Collingwood coach Nathan Buckley even thought there might have been a sartorial reason. I actually asked the boys at half-time, is there there anything in the Guernseys? Are we not picking our players out sort of... 30, 40 metres away because it looked like we were not picking them. But that was not an issue um, from the players' perspective. But the horrific Guernsey clash was a problem that Fox Footy's Nick Rewalt pointed out last Monday when the Guernseys were first unveiled. Flagging this on a Monday so we can fix it. We've got time to fix it. Oh, this is a horrific jumper clash and it's going to be hard to tell yeah. the teams apart got on no Sunday. Time to fix it. So next time St Nick speaks, pay attention. Speaking of paying attention, spare a thought for Bridget McIntyre. Very proud tonight to present the inaugural Frank Checker Hughes medal. McIntyre was the on-ground MC for the Tigers-Demons game on Saturday night and post-match was set to award the best on-ground medal. Except there was a problem. Would you please join me? Well, I actually don't know who the winner is. I think I need to know the winner. In the end, someone got the message to Melbourne's Christian Petrarca that he had won the medal and he put everybody out of their misery and headed on stage to accept the award. Oh, it's Petrarca! The worst thing any coach can ever hear is, you have our full support, because that statement inevitably leads to a different statement. You're fired. But off the back of the West Tigers, 40-6 to loss to Manly yesterday. Oh. And here- The Sydney Morning Herald is reporting that the club's power brokers are on the verge of holding crisis meetings on whether or not to sack coach Michael Maguire. That's where we're at. we just got to understand this is where we're at. And next week we turn up and get the heads right around the way we played against South or even against Parramatta and those type of teams. Well, this team will turn into a very strong team. In response to the report from the Herald, the West Tigers released a statement on their club website denying any crisis meetings are taking place and that all at the club remain firmly united and committed to producing a strong and competitive season together. So it would seem that Maguire has avoided the dreaded full support of the board, but with a 1-7 and seven record marking the club's worst ever start to the season, he is definitely... Under pressure. If a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? I don't know. But when UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman lands a punch in front of a sold-out crowd of 15,000, it definitely makes a sound. The man known as the Nigerian Nightmare retained his welterweight belt with a knockout win over Jorge Masvidal early in the second round yesterday. But the bigger and more gruesome story from UFC 261 was the injury suffered by American Chris Weidman. On the first kick of the night against Uriah Hall, Weidman's leg crumpled like a cheap suit and he had to be stretched out of the ring. Now, if you're feeling brave, you can head to the Scorecard's Instagram page at the Scorecard AU to watch the incident. But if you're feeling in any way queasy after the weekend, 
probably give it a miss. Right below the knee, and it immediately snapped Just snapped his leg. I can't watch this. And that is your Fast Fun Hit of Sport for Monday, the 26th of April. I'm Liam Flanagan. Catch you tomorrow for another edition of The Scorecard. Listener.